Hold on. How to solve 3 power root t and this equals 9 power t. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. Now, what we can do is to ensure that these two pieces are the same. This is 3 and this is 9. You know that 9 is a perfect square which is 3 to the power of 2. So I'm going to have 3 to the power of square root of t. And this equals 9. We can replace it with 3 to the power of 2. And this is to the power of t. Now, if you consider a to the power of n, and this is to the power of m, this equals a power n times m. I apply this identity right here. I'm going to have 3 to the power of square root of t. And this equals 3 to the power of 2 times t. That is 2t. Now, if you have a to the power of b, and this equals a power c, since the bases are the same, you can have b equals c. So we are going to equate this exponent. That means I'm simply going to have square root of t equals 2 times t. Now solving for t, I can decide to take the squares or put part of this equation. So if you have square root of x raised to the power of 2, this is just like writing square root here means x power 1 over 2, and this is raised to the power of 2. So if you multiply this exponent, you have x power 2 over 2, and this is just like writing x because 2 over 2 is 1. So that means this can cancel this because of this identity. We have t equals, for this, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So we are going to distribute this power of 2. That means we have 2 power 2 times t power 2. So right now, I have t equals 2 power 2 is 4 times t power 2. And 4 times t power 2 is 4 t squared. So we have t equals 4 t squared. Now, we are going to solve this equation using two different methods. The first method will be for me to divide each part of this equation by t. I divide this by t. I divide this by t. t divided by t is 1. And this equals t squared divided by t is t. So this is 4t. I can rearrange this. I have 4 times t equals 1. I can isolate t by dividing this by 4. Dividing this by 4. 4 cancels 4. I have t equals 1 over 4. Now this one way of solving it. Now I can also solve this same problem using this other method. If t equals 4 t squared, I can move this t over here. That means I have 4 t squared. This becomes minus t and this equals 0. So there is t here, there is t here. I can factor out t. I will have t times 4 t squared divided by t. This is 4 t minus t divided by t. This is 1 and this equals 0. So right now, I can equate each of these to 0. I have t equals 0 or 4t minus 1 equals 0. This one is solved already. So for this, I will simply move this negative one over here. It becomes positive 1. I have 4t equals 1. So solving for t, I divide this by 4. I divide this by 4. 
4 eliminate 4, I have t equals 1 over 4. So I have two different solutions right here, 0 and 1 over 4. While using this other method, I have only one solution, which is 1 over 4. Now, that being done, the next step would be for us to check for each of the values that we have. So we have two solutions, t equals 0 and t equals 1 over 4. This is 3 power root t equals 9 power t. If t equals 0, I'm going to have 3 power square root of 0, and this equals 9 power 0. Square root of 0 is 0, I have 3 power 0, and this equals 9 power 0. And 3 to the power of 0, any number to the power of 0 is 1. So this is 1, and this equals 9 power 0 is 1. Now let's consider t equals 1 over 4. I have 3 power square root of 1 over 4 equals 9 power 1 over 4. If you have square root of a divided by b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b. So this is just like having 3 power square root of 1 divided by square root of 4 equals 9 power 1 over 4. This is 3 power square root of 1 is 1 divided by square root of 4 is 2 and this equals 9 power 1 over 4. 9 is a perfect square, which is 3 to the power of 2. So this is all right in 3 power 1 over 2 equals 9, which is 3 power 2. And this is raised to the power 1 over 4. Now, if you have a power n, raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. I multiply this out. I have 3 power 1 over 2 equals 3 to the power of 2 times 1. This is 2 over 4. So right now, I have 3 power 1 over 2 equals 3 to the power of 2 cancel 7 ones, cancel 4, we have 2. Left hand side equals right hand side, but we can see further simplify this. Consider this identity, a power 1 over n. This equals the n root of a to the power of 1. And this equals the n root of a, because a power 1 is a. So this will be the square root of 3 to the power of 1. And this equals the square root of 3 to the power of 1. And from here, 3 power 1 is 3, so we have square root of 3, and this equals square root of 3. So we can leave our answer this way. So the left hand side equals the right hand side, and that is it. So don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye. So the two solutions are 0 and 1 over 4, and the both solutions have proven to be correct. So that is it guys, I believe you enjoyed this, don't forget to share this video and drop a comment on the comment box, I will reply, thank you.